Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to discuss interpolation. If you look up the definition of interpolation, it doesn't really describe what it does, so I hope this video will clear things up a bit. In a nutshell, interpolation allows you to smoothly make transitions between drone headings and gimbal angles, instead of it all happening with a big jerk. Let's take a look at this example using the Statue of Liberty as a point of interest. I've set up three points of interest, one at the statue at zero feet, one at the statue at 100 feet, and one further down the mall. If we set the interpolation value to none, you'll see that it holds on to that point of interest until it reaches the next point, and then it changes abruptly. So here we are, we're scrolling along, you'll see it's holding onto that point of interest and then as soon as it hits B, it pops up quickly. And that's usually not what you want. So let's change the interpolation values to linear instead of none and see what happens then. If I now generate this and run this through the simulation, you'll see that now what happens is it starts looking at the Statue of Liberty, but it's already starting to pan up you can see that it smoothly transitions. And then once we go past B and it starts moving towards the other point of interest down the mall, it again smoothly transitions without the abrupt movement. Let's go over a few key points. It's the waypoint that you're moving towards that decides what interpolation value is going to be used. I can set waypoint alpha to be whatever I want, but if I'm moving towards waypoint B, and waypoint B is set to linear, it's going to be linear. While we're on the subject, there are three different values. There's none, linear, which we've already touched on, and curved. Curved is very similar to linear, except it smooths out some of the transitions. So it actually starts a little slower, speeds up in the middle, and then slows down towards the end. Um, it's up to you which one you use. I would suggest that you just try things out and see which ones you like the best. And that's it. Now that you know how that works, get out there and make some beautifully smooth videos. As always, I love to hear comments, so feel free to leave a message or post any questions that you might have. Goodbye.